Hello and welcome back to another grocery haul. You guys really seem to really like the other one, so I thought I would do another one this week. I don't have anything like super special, it's more normal. I tried to like keep it pretty minimal to like just what we needed. I thought I would still share. I enjoy watching these because it gives me like dinner ideas or just like new ideas in general. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Here's a little overview. I always start from the right. Also, I'm really enjoying doing the grocery hauls on my kitchen table. I've seen other like YouTubers do it and I'm like, now that I have a table, I can do that too. And it's so much easier. Fruit, I already have oranges and apples. So I grabbed some blackberries as well as these candy grapes. These are kind of new to us. So those have been fun to like switch it up from just normal grapes. Bananas, those are always a hit, especially Hendrix likes to do like peanut butter banana toast. That's been one of his safe foods lately. Some broccoli for the broccoli cheddar soup. So I didn't need very many like fruit and vegetables this week. Bread items, I just have some white bread, some hoagie rolls for the subs and some bagels. Dairy products, we have some sharp cheddar cheese for broccoli cheddar soup, pepper jack for the queso, Parmesan cheese for Alfredo, provolone also for the subs, two cans of biscuits, both of these are for biscuits and gravy, that is also another safe food for Hendrix. I honestly feel like I should have gone with more like four cans. He usually eats it for dinner because there are so few foods that he will eat. Some sour cream, cottage cheese for spaghetti, because I do like that million dollar spaghetti where it's got like the sour cream, the cream cheese, cottage cheese, and I add pesto to mine, it's super good. Some half and half for the broccoli cheddar soup. Back here we have some Danimals. Coffee creamer, we're still really liking the Chobani. Um, I only did one of these because it is just so strong that you need like a splash so we do this as like the main and then just like a splash of this and it's perfect a little side note i finally redid my nails these are actually just press-ons from walmart they were like five dollars and some change this has been like a week almost a week of them being on and they've held up so well and i feel like they look pretty natural considering and i'm like pretty new to even just the press-ons but it looks so much better than that gel that was just like peeling off but i believe that's everything for dairy products i realized i forgot to get a gallon of milk so i'll have to go back for that back here we have eggo waffles two things of popcorn chicken that is another safe food for hendrix so if he's not eating biscuits and gravy then he's likely eating popcorn chicken mixed vegetables to go as a side one of these nights apple juice Two things of this stock cold brew, chocolate ice cream. I should probably go throw that in the freezer really quick. Four things of these Lunchables. The kids will not eat these, but I like them if I just need something quick, if I'm really busy that day, or you know the kids are just kind of a lot. Um, they're also nice for Kenny to take as like a little snack um, because he is equally busy at work. So they're just kind of like a quick grab and go, not the healthiest, but we have some large white eggs, some refried beans. I get the vegetarian because some of these have like lard and stuff in them. And that is just really gross to me. So I always get the vegetarian. We have some green chilies that I believe is for the queso. This is obviously for queso also. This is for Kenny to take to work if he forgets lunch or didn't pack enough. Same with these. They're so high in sodium that we try to avoid them, but they are kind of nice for him on days that he's busy. I also grabbed two chicken ones to see maybe if Hendrix would try them. They're very mild and I feel foods that are very mild, he does pretty okay with. So uh, I'm gonna try these. If not, Kenny will take them. We have two things of tomato sauce. That's for the cheesy chicken and rice, some evaporated milk for the queso, two cream of chickens for poppy seed chicken, two jars of the Rayo's like marinara sauce. We have a tomato basil for spaghetti and marinara for the meatball subs. Four things of these pasta roni, white shells and cheddar. That's one of Bennett's favorites. So I try to keep that on hand. I wanted to try adding these to the uh, broccoli cheddar soup. I saw a recipe that added these and i thought that would be kind of good so we're gonna give it a try we have noodles for alfredo and spaghetti noodles for obviously spaghetti two things of chicken broth basamati rice i was happy to see that they had the great value in stock jelly we really like this one because again it has like none of the yucky stuff in it 
Two things of these Chip Ahoy cookies. I knew we'd go through these pretty fast. Two things of Pop-Tarts. Kenny's not crazy about the wild berry, but that's what the kids like, so I got him strawberry. I'm trying to keep Halston entertained, so he's down here playing with some cans, so I'm sorry if you can hear that in the back. Doritos and these white cheddar Cheetos, those are a staple all the time. Ritz crackers, I more or less needed that for the poppy seed chicken. Cinnamon toast crunch and Centurios. I wanted to get a bigger size, but all they had was just like a normal box. I got a twin pack of bacon that is another safe food for Hendrix, so I wanted to make sure I had enough of that to get through the week. Same with this big roll of sausage, obviously for biscuits and gravy. And uh, Bennett also likes to eat it with eggs, so I just grabbed a really Big roll this time. Ground beef for spaghetti and then some chicken breasts. I wish I would have grabbed two of these. I forgot that they, for some reason, said that they didn't have any in stock, but I literally went in and they were completely stocked. I don't know, maybe they were like marking it down when they were like picking my groceries, I don't know. But I thought this was a really good deal, so I'm gonna get that in the freezer. I saved 12 bucks. And for beverages, I have these mini cans of Sprite. Hendrix likes to take those to school occasionally, and yes, his school allows it. I've gotten comments before saying schools don't allow soda, but his does. A thing of water and a case of Dr. Pepper for Kenny, which is something else that I've gotten like comments on, but I'm just like, he works long freaking hours. It's no different than him having coffee. It's what gets him through the day, with a little bit of caffeine. For non-food items, we have some paper towels, some Dawn dish soap. Halston was out of his baby wash. These are new. I thought they were kind of interesting. They have like two flossers on there and then an actual like pick at the end. So I thought that would be a little more helpful than just like traditional ones. We also have some JB Weld because the mirror on my car is falling off. So Kenny's gonna fix that. Flushable wipes, I know those are kind of on like the controversial side, but when you have a toddler, like they're kind of a godsend, so. I feel like I haven't shared a recipe in a really long time, so I thought today was the perfect opportunity to share my Mexican cheesy chicken and rice recipe. Starting a pan on about medium high heat. Cube up your chicken. I used about two to three chicken breasts. Adding a drizzle of olive oil. I'm going to go ahead and start cooking that chicken and adding in some salt and pepper, some garlic powder, chili powder, cumin, and this seasoning that I am probably going to butcher. I'm sorry. Sazon Goya? I I don't know how to say it. Please, if you know, let me know in the comments. It adds such a beautiful color to your food. Once my chicken is done, I'm going to go ahead and just put that to the side for now. I'll be using the same pan to like let those flavors soak into the rice. Add another drizzle of olive oil and your rice and you're going to toast that. Once that is nicely toasted, I'm going to like make a hole in the center of my rice so I can add in my tomato sauce and I like to let that cook down just a little bit before adding anything else. Add in your better than bouillon. I like to swirl mine in water so I get like every bit of that bouillon off. You'll add another packet of that seasoning and give it a mix and then go ahead and add in your water. Give it one good stir and then bring it to a boil. Do not stir it. Just bring it to a boil, put a lid over it, and then turn your burner down so that it simmers. And you're going to let it simmer for 15 minutes. Moving on to the queso, you need one can of evaporated milk, some green chilies, a block of Velveeta, and I did about five ounces of this pepper jack cheese. I cook mine on like a medium low heat and just stir it occasionally. Once that 15 minutes is up on your rice, take your rice off the burner. Do not stir. Don't touch it. The only thing that I do is I open it up and add my chicken back in so that when I put the lid back on, it'll heat back up. Once that second 15 minutes is up, you can go ahead and give it a stir and it should be perfectly cooked. This turned out so, so, so good. I honestly make this probably at least once a week. Everybody in my house will eat this except for Hendrix, which isn't unusual for him. I'm plating that up and then the best part is you can add as much queso as your heart desires.
I decided to use this in quesadillas the next day, so I went ahead and heated up my queso and my rice and some refried beans. I spread out some refried beans on a tortilla and just added whatever cheese I had. I had Monterey Jack on hand. I also could have used the rest of my pepper jack cheese, really just whatever you have on hand. Put that in a pan so that cheese can start melting and then add your rice mixture, a little bit of queso right down the center and then fold it in half and you should have this like beautiful golden brown on the bottom of the tortilla and the crunch so good on this. The flavor was amazing. I hope you guys try, you'll have to let me know. Like I said, we make this at least once a week because it is so good. Thank you for watching and I will see you in our next video.